So what we're looking at really is when we see golfers have very much so this kind of collapsed position through the ball where they keep the head down too long and the arms lose their structure and radius. So in simple terms, the radius is kind of the circle of the golf swing. When that changes a lot, we really struggle to make good contact in the ball. In simple terms, if I shorten my arm, swing my arm radius like this, I'm going to hit the ball very much at the top or thin the ball, lose some power. If my radius gets longer, which you can't really get longer than what you start with, but if I tilt more over to the golf ball, then obviously that can get buried into the ground. Quite often, it gets buried into the ground because our lever system breaks down pre-impact and we tilt over the golf ball at the same time, and then we really bury that club deep, deep, deep. What we're really looking at today is the structure we get in this position here post-impact. Trying to make sure we get that kind of firm arm structured golf swing look through the golf ball. What I encourage you to do is trying to feel almost like you're pointing your arms and club in the direction of the target. In perfect world, it would be left of the target. So we're going to be working on that kind of circle as we go through the golf ball. But we really want to feel like we're throwing our arms in that structured position. And if you imagine we had the golf bag here, and I have my structured arms, I would want to feel that the bag couldn't push back on my arms. And if I was doing it with the two person here in the video, I'd be there trying to push the golf club like this and to see that their arms stay in that structured shape. If their arms start to buckle and bend, that is obviously a big, big warning sign. We want to keep that structure and that's matched in then with the rotation, the pressure on the lead side and the extension. Again, the golf we showed you earlier tends to have what we call forward bend, head down, no room for the arms to work. When we extend and rotate, we create arm and we create space for the arms and wrists to work correctly through the golf ball. We also want to make sure that also the hands are obviously nice and secure. We don't get flippy flappy through the golf ball. That's definitely a no-no for me. We want that structure, that security in the arms and wrists. I'm trying to feel that we're almost hitting that kind of Tommy Fleetwood, sawn off, body control, punchy golf swing. That's what we're really looking for. So to give you a little bit of feedback, if we stick a a rod down here and if I take my address position to the target and I adjust this to where we need it to be you'll see this rod is inside my trail foot now what I'm looking for here really through the golf ball is to try and get my trail shoulder past that rod and my hands extended in that kind of punchy kind of style mode I feel like my body starts to work chest up or heart to the sky again if the heart's too much to the ground that's not what we want. We want to feel that our body is extending and rotating through the ball and our arms have that structure. This is just a little bit of a visual to make sure my trail shoulder travels towards the target as opposed to backing up and collapsing those arms, which is what we often see. If you stand on any first tee, clubhouse or balcony or patio area around a golf club, you will see a lot of golfers teeing off in this kind of back foot shape, arms very narrow as we go through the golf ball and these arms very collapsed. We're looking for kind of the opposite to that and really exaggerate as much as you can. Let's try and hit one for you. I'm gonna try and focus on getting my trail shoulder past that rod and my arms in this real structured manner. And you see there a nice divot, got really through the golf ball really, really well. I'll show you another one that we're really gonna focus on holding that finish until that ball lands. See the structure in those arms and be able to hold it there for as long as you can. Taking big meaty divots is a good sign that you've got that angle of approach and that landing spot of the golf club in the correct location. Have a go at hitting these punchy shots. Have a go at having this Tommy Fleetwood finish to improve your post-impact position to ensure you become a better ball striker.